through. We saw CJ Stander with what ultimately was a match-winning try against Edinburgh a couple of weeks ago from this kind of situation. No Stander there tonight, but it doesn't matter because Munster get over and it's his replacement for the night, Gavin Coombs, that gets the try. Is this to be a second try for Munster? Will be this similar to the first? Shrill blast of the referee's whistle will tell you yes. He didn't move. He didn't move. Well, let's see. I think it might be the same player. He didn't move. I was focused on that. The referee was well placed. And it's the second try of the night for Munster. And the second try of the night for Gavin Coombs. Ball is a long time coming back for Casey. Is the route now for Coombs on the charge? He looks like he's got there. The man who's in really good try scoring form for Munster has hit back. Casey again. Oh, he's on his hands and knees. He might make it all the way. You know, he's been stopped. Only half a yard short, and on the secondary try, Munster get in for the bonus point try. Driving over from close range, and the try, do I even need to say who it's from? Gavin Coombs gets over again. But it was... Munster get the penalty, and they tap and go, and it's that man again. Oh, what a game he's having. Now they have another dig at the line, and one more with O'Donoghue who just can't quite wrestle the ball over, but they have now. Munster celebrate a third try. And it is that man, Gavin Coombs, once again, his sixth of the season, a hat-trick last week. That one is just as important. Casey feeds it onwards for Coombs. Wriggling forwards, he's got there. Fantastic work from the Munster pack. Uh, particularly from Gavin Coombs on his European debut. He's had a stellar start to this season. Kesey now decides to have a goal. Almost through the gap, the scrum half. Munster celebrate, they think they're there and they are. And that is the third score. And it's about time that Gavin Coombs got in on the action. Munster have been in this five metre channel for about 10 minutes now. Can they get a five pointer? Yes, they can. Well, it had to come, you felt, eventually, and it was always, always very possibly going to come from that man in picture, Gavin Coombs. And Archer, just got to be mindful not to latch on before the contact is made with Coombs. In open play, that's fine to latch on prior to it, but free kick or penalty and something that referees are looking out for. There we go. Coombs trying to power his way through. He's got two in his shoulders at the line. That looks good from here. Wayne Barnes can't quite see it. Brian O'Driscoll, Dunham Callum, my first thoughts are try. The Jets for Toulouse is proving absolutely crucial. Almost at the line, they get to the line and they get the try as well. 80 minutes are up, so it's of no consequence. Coombs with his second of the match. And the referee shrill blast of the whistle. And the penalty is there for Munster again. And they might take it quickly, they do take it quickly and they head towards that line and they're over. It was on, you could see the backs were turned by Zebre for just a moment. And in doing so, they offered Munster the opportunity to attack quickly. That they did, and the try is scored, and Munster are on the board. And it looks like it's Gavin Coombs. Oh, Munster line out. It goes, and it's claimed by Munster, and around the corner they go once more, and it's a result of a try over once more. Goes Coombs, it's his second. And Munster, well, that was oh so easy. Servant, and I, I just was doing a bit of research earlier. He, he won't ever. It's okay, says the referee. And Coombs is going to get his hat trick. The referee so, yeah, let it go. It'll be reviewed. Awful white player. I think when they see it again, he might have to have another look. And we'll go back to Billy Holland because this will be a moment that Gavin Coombs may well have scored his third try and a hat-trick in the final game of the season. Here goes Coombs again! It's his fourth try of the evening. Munster have the final say.